Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday. Now, you know, before we go any further, before we even start this whole show, I want to give a shout out to Kathy Miller, Kathy Ward Miller, which is Tommy's wife. I want to say hi to her. She watched <coughs> the show and she made Tommy kiss us at the bowling alley, which was very uncomfortable the way he kept hugging. It well, was, he was like, until he used the tongue, I was okay. Then it got, got a little weird. Got to watch Tommy. Just a little weird. But Kathy, thank you. Big shout out to you for watching and enjoying the show, and really for putting up Tommy with Tommy for all those years. Because that's that's tough. strong woman. Strong, strong woman. Strong woman. So we read the comments. We read the comments. Yes, we do. And we take them to heart. We do take them to heart. <clears throat> and Amanda Christian, son, told me to cut my hair. She did say cut your hair. And I have just now. I got it to where I want it, to where I can wear it like I've been dreaming for years of wearing it, to where I can go to a rock show, you know, and all that stuff. If you wasn't so, if you wasn't so clean cut, if you wasn't so appearance-wise, that looks good, dude. I know you hate it, but it looks good, but you won't never let it go. You, I agree. Hey, but I it, have not cut this hair. It looks good. For it's been a while. about four months. <clears throat> I like it. Because it's something different. I like it on you. But I wish you'd let it keep growing. I think they call this the Cody Flowers. Cody kinda. has probably had that. Cody has probably had that hair. He probably just cut it in his bob. But, but I can't, I can't, I you, can't, uh. I have a cowlick right here that is just, it's just crazy, so I can't get it to go back the way I wanted it. They, re they took thin and shears and just cut. Dude, it was a pile of hair like this that they cut out, and I still got all this hair. So it, my hair just isn't thin yeah. to where it, it lays like kind of like yours, the way it go back. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. But it's coming off. It's just go back to off. the natural. It's probably coming off. Go back to the natural. Uh, let me give a shout out to Shay. Shay, uh, Stephanie works with Renee. They watch the show. Renee is going to have, that'll be her future daughter-in-law. And she's an apprentice over there at the tattoo shop with Eric. Okay. And she does, Stephanie did Stephanie's tattoo. And of course, I was like, you know what? She needs practice. I need my sleeve filled in. So I went and got all my red filled in, almost got two more little, one more little session. And Why didn't y'all do that section? Got uh, tired? No, because she, as an <clears throat> apprentice, she's only got so much time before. Let me see that. And see, see how it's not perfect. I ask not to be perfect because these are so old. I said, Man, when this dries, like you. Yeah, yeah, it's like me. When this dries, it'll look weathered. She was like, "You want me to fill this in completely?" I went, "No." I said, "Leave spots." I said, it needs to look weathered when it's done. I said, I don't want it looking perfect because none of my stuff's perfect. Could go back in with that dark ink at some point. Yeah, you could go in back and you could go back and outline it, but that was the thing. Once I color it, I'm done with this arm. I'm moving on to the chest. When you doing this? I'm gonna do this first. Cause I got these and these are But ain't there supposed to be a film strip that goes around? Supposed it? to be, but I ain't really found nobody that I've that I trust. And you're gonna to make do it look good. You just trying to hide your man boobs? Nope, they're going down. Look at that. I get it. I wanna I wanna put something on I want, I want the stars on here to go over and then tie into my film I got a I got a lot of work. But thank you, Shay. You did a wonderful job. And as an apprentice, and when her time's up. She's got to help Eric. I'm, I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll come back. Three hours of setting, I, I really didn't complain when she's like, I can't go any further. I'm like, hey, no problem. Well, let me just tell y'all a story. Tell a story. It used to be a place down on Franklin. Franklin. Russell got his first tattoo. Mr. Brandon Jackson. Right over here. Right, This is it right here. Right here. Brandon Jackson. <clears throat> DreamWorks tattoo. And God dang, boy, they're getting it. And they get about right in here. That hurt. Right in here. And I see my buddy getting a little pale. And I go, buddy, are you okay? 
I had to get up. Can I get a soda? I had to get up and walk around. It was Dr. Pepper, I think. If you have never had a had a tattoo, it is a annoying feeling. It got me. I did not know how to handle that. It's it's like it's almost like car sickness. Yeah. When you're you're being shaken and it just finally starts getting to you, it bothered me. The one on my back that our, our buddy Mark did when he got on that bone right there, he it was, was like feeling your teeth. Mm, that's not. That's but not after good. after that after that <clears throat> and then after you feel that, I never I never got bothered me anymore with all this. But it was right here that first time. That initial. And it really did. It made me it made me sick. Now I know we're talking about stuff that. What we need to be talking about is what happened last night at the Oscars. First I off, can't believe it. First off, take a look at this picture. Mm. Okay, that's nice. And when my woman goes, holy crap, she got some big old boobs. Who is that? I went, oof, man, what? I'm, who is it? I don't know. Everybody is trolling on Twitter. Oh, my God, where's Eva Mendez? Blah, blah, blah. That is Ryan Gosling's sister. I would be that guy to go, hey, dude, I will come over to your house and play. Is your sister going to be home? <laughs> <Right? laughs> if she's not, you can come on over here. I don't want to waste my time. That was always a sticky subject. Going out with a, with a buddy's daughter. Uh, I mean, uh, sister. whatever it's called. Sister. sister. Yeah, buddy's daughter's even worse. Well, here, but, let, me throw, <clears throat> let me give you one story. Okay. I understand that before we go any further. My buddy, Mr. Randy Boone, and Emerald really took it. We're freshmen in high school. I'm probably going to get in some trouble right here. Okay. But that's okay. That's a long time ago. long time ago. Give or forget. And his sister, Starla, was a senior while we were a uh, freshman. Okay. Or right at the eighth grade freshman year. And I used to spend a night with Randy all the time. They was upstairs, bedroom. She, Randy was over here. Starla was over here. And man, Starla, I, if you watch this show, when she, she will walk, today. She Randy walk, will send it to her. Yeah, when she would walk around in her <clears> little, <throat> I mean, because she ain't this big, man. Little, she's a cheerleader, cut off shirt and panties walking around. Randy, I'm sorry, buddy. I, House I would, of ill repute. I would say, hey, dude, hey, man, you know, <laughs> we spending my nice Friday night, man. We can do, we can, we can do. We, uh, only time I ever snuck out was with Randy, and guess who caught me? Whacking Sheila driving down the road. Got in trouble. I believe it. But that was a tough situation. Because what would have happened if she would have attacked me? Would I would I do something? Would I tell Randy that? Right. I mean, what do I do? It never happened. We should put it, but it didn't. Okay, moving on. You blame it on her. That's all you do. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Man, I was only in the ninth grade. I was taking very, advantage of me. I was me. taking advantage of. Why didn't that happen? <laughs> okay. Damn you, Starla. Starla Boone. Uh, all right, anyway, get back to this deal. Oscars, any big surprises for you? I haven't seen La La Land. Right, I need to see But it I heard it was La La Land. It's a musical. It's really what I heard. They said Moulin Rouge blows it out of the water. Oh, then I'll, they never say, watch it. I'll never they watch it. They say, <clears throat> I saw Hidden Figures, and oh, I man. saw... Hacksaw Ridge. Right. I haven't seen Manchester by the Sea. Hope said The kid in, in Hacksaw Ridge was so good, I thought, that he, he should have won. won Best Actor. Didn't Denzel win the SAG Actor Awards? Didn't he win? No, no. Manchester by the Sea. Casey Affleck won it. Okay. <clears throat> I saw some people going back and forth. Our buddy Ryan Swanson saw them all. Okay. And he said Denzel blew him away. I, dude, I, that's what everybody was saying. And then somebody under it went, it was his performance was horrible to me. So it's all how you take it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Hope watched half of Manchester by the Sea and said it was so slow he couldn't get through the other half. Right. So Everybody said it was slow, but Casey Affleck did do a really good job. He hairs in my eye today, man. Sorry about that. Driving me crazy. Got all flustered thinking about my freshman year again. Ooh, uh, yeah. So best picture. Now, from what I saw, and then I finally read it this morning because I went right to sleep, they gave him the wrong card. They gave Warren Beatty and her the Best Actress Award, and he was stalling. That's what he said. He was holding the deal stalling because he saw it, 
and didn't know what to do. And she was like, come on. And then I, I went back and watched it. And when he when she went like that, she didn't see. She just saw La La Land, which was the best actress. That's what it was. So he didn't Steve Harvey so and mess the, it up. So they reprinted the best actress because it had already been given. Somehow they gave her the same, they gave him the same deal. It wasn't best picture. They brought the best picture out. Well, I'm laying there ticked off that it's 40 minutes late yeah. from when it said it was going off. You ready to go to bed. Me. And it goes, la la land. I went click. I did the same thing. I did not see it until this morning till they, to the, the guy that had gave the speech went, oh, we lost. Moonlight, you won. And you think that was funny? This is what really, when they held up that card, this is what it really read on there. I seen that. I seen that. I saw that this morning. So we might have another five million views. At, at least, right at there. least. Holy moly, that was amazing. Now the one thing they didn't show. What? Was the indie. Yeah. They the didn't Waco show. indie. They didn't show that, man. Huh. And. Sons of. When we showed up this morning. Yep. At the studio or your house, whichever right. it is, have whatever you want to call it, yeah. or the gym. Studio I mean, there's gym many house. things going on here. All right, studio gym. House. They had these waiting on us. Yep. Ready? Yep. And look at that. Look at that. Cowboy and Lucky. And what's weird or is. Or Wounded and Edder. What's or Wounded Roy and Edder. It, it, uh, it kind of resembles us. That's the first time I've ever really seen That's how, that's how they do them. Seen that's how they that. do them now. When, to, to special awards. So. I'm going to get rid of mine, <coughs> and uh, thank you, Academy. Thank you. Out my mom, I want to thank my mom for not Ooh. calling me while she was moving yesterday Ooh. for some reason, so I moved a bunch of stuff. I'm playing y'all. And <sighs> I thought the Jimmy Kimmel part was kind of funny with Matt Damon. I thought that was funny. <clears throat> that was good. And that, yeah. I think, goes beyond the Oscars. I think they carry that on all the time. Yeah, you didn't know. It's yeah. been going on for like 10 years. Okay, I thought so. So, yeah, that's their deal. Uh, I'm going to do my, sec my, my, what today, what we're having for lunch is uh, brisket, brisket nacho. nachos. Yeah. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Brisket nachos, nine bucks, boom. Wednesday starts our, put your ad here, we got four. Got four. <clears throat> Bam. Not even going to tell. And them. the way we cook those briskets. Oh, okay. We get a little of the fat off. Yep. We throw them on the pit. On the pit. And we smoke them. On the pit. On the pit. For four hours. Four hours. Then we take them off. Right. And we wrap them up. Right. We put them back in there. Put them back in Where there. Where it gets that, you know, how it's got that three layers right. of color. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then they take it and they, they chop it up for that yeah. stuff. But Barry does a good job with that. Barry does a great <clears throat> job with that. That's all I got. Okay, I was wondering where we were going. We with weren't that. going anywhere with that. Okay. The brisket nachos are really good, and it takes a long time to make them. Totally agree with eight that. Eight over eight hours totally to make a brisket nacho. Agree with that. Hey, we're gonna get out of here, man. Have a wonderful <coughs> Monday. Watch, like, share until tomorrow. When I don't know what he's gonna look like. He's starting to come in with no me. Telling. Different do. There's no telling no what's gonna happen. I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are.